Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joanne and today we're going to continue with our MT sensor series. This time we have this little guy, it's an MT10 and this is the sensor that Cisco Meraki has for the temperature. So we're going to do the same process as we did for the MT20 in the door sensor and we're going to go like this one with all the process, the MT basic setup, how to add it to the network, how to connected to the dashboard and then how to set the alerts for you to be sent to either webhooks, to SMS, text maxes, or through email address as well. If you need more help on how to configure the network, we can come here and this is our playlist where you can see all the different configuration topics, troubleshooting tips, or even how to automate your network. So you can go there and understand the whole Cisco Meraki structure. If you still don't have your Cisco Meraki MT sensor on your inventory or your network, you can go to this video and then you're gonna see how to create your Cisco Meraki account, how to add devices to the inventory, because from now on, what we're gonna do is understanding how to move it from the inventory to your network. And now that we have the MT sensor with us, let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. So now that we are in our Cisco Meraki dashboard, we're gonna add the empty sensors that we're gonna use today and then do all the basic setup and how to set the alert profiles for us. First thing is go to organization inventory. The empty sensor is already in the inventory. So if you don't have it, go back to the video that we have on how to create the Cisco Meraki dashboard account and how to add devices to the inventory. We know that it's here, so we're gonna use it right away. So now this time we're gonna use the MT10. With the MT10, what you have to do is just change the network assignment. We're gonna add it to the IT way network. We're gonna move it to the network. After it's successfully saved, you can refresh the page because we're already in that network and you can see the new environmental tab. Right now we just have cameras tab and environmental tab. If you go to overview, here there is the main part for this environmental tab. You can see the, the device status right now, since we added it's completely offline, I have the alert sensors. Since this, this sensor is about temperature and humidity, that's why the two alerting sensors that you have. Here, these are the two more, more important parts in this web page, which is, are the banners. The banners is telling you what is the gateway that you're gonna use for access of, to the communication to this empty sensor. If you read it, you have one of those tools that can be used either the Wi-Fi 6 MR access points, or you can use the NV cameras. So if you wanna use NV cameras, has to be a second generation NV cameras, or if it's an access point, has to be a Wi-Fi 6 access points. For more information, you can click here, and here you will see the list of compatible gateways. So for cameras, it has to be one of these cameras, and for MR, it has to be one of these MR access points. Again, second generation MV cameras or Wi-Fi 6 compatible APs. If we go back to my network, let's see what we have. So I have a camera and this camera is the MV32. So yes, base of the information here, MV32 works very well with this. The only thing that we have to do is just put the batteries in the device and wait just a few minutes so we can see if it's online and everything is gonna be configured through wireless. So we don't need any any button at all. While we're waiting for this sensor to come online, what we're gonna do is go through these three tabs. So the first one is the overview. You will see all your sensors here and which one is offline, which one is online, dormant or warning. The alerting sensor is gonna depend on the sensors that you have. Right now, since we have just temperature, we have temperature and humidity, and there are no sensors assigned to it. Here you can create the alert profiles. This one was because I was playing around before and that's why I created, but we don't have a door sensor at the moment. So we have, you can create a new profile, select what is the alert that we're gonna create and then assign that alert to the sensor. So after the sensor is online, we're gonna go through those steps. The other one is the list of all the sensors. Right now we just have the MT10, so we don't have any other sensor. The actions that you can do, they're just very limited. It's just move to another network, remove the network, or manage the alert profiles. In the alert profile section, that's the one that I mentioned that I was playing around. We can just delete this one. 
to avoid any confusion. And that's how you create a new environmental alert. We're gonna do it as the empty sensor is online. So let's wait a few minutes. And here you have it. So we have the empty 10, which is already online. And here we have the temperature that is gonna be measuring throughout the time. Right now it's 76 Fahrenheit. If you scroll down, we have more information. We have the humidity throughout the time, the same, and the gateway connectivity. So here you have understanding how many failed connections throughout the time was trying and what is the average connection lag to the gateway. In this case, the gateway is the MV32. So you see even the RSSI of the signal strength from the empty sensor to the MV camera and what was the time that it was last connected. Now that it's connected, we can go back to the sensors. Let's go to the overview area and let's create a profile for this one. Let's put this um, temperature alert, right? What are the conditions for me to make sure that I receive any notification when that threshold is passed? Let's say the temperature has, has to be above, um, you can change Fahrenheit or Celsius, but it says above 90, 90 Fahrenheit. For the email, you can use your email. We can have this email. Or is that as default, the recipients are gonna be configured in the network wide alerts. So it's up to you to use a specific emails or use the same one for the network wide alerts. For a phone number, if you want to receive SMS notifications, you can get it from here. Or even webhooks server, you can use and put the information here and it's gonna be sent all the way to your webhooks. After having this alert, done and configured. Now we can assign this. So let's put the configuration here, add alert profiles. This is the profile that we have created. Apply, you see, to one sensor and there's just one recipient subscribe, save, and that's it, nothing else to do. So when we have the temperature that is above that threshold that we see here, not 90, we're gonna receive that alert, depending on the way that we selected to receive that alert. And that's how you put the device to the network, that's how you configure it, and that's how you monitor this MT10 in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. And that's how you configure the MT10 in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. As you were able to see, it's very simple and it's straightforward. This is one of the Cisco Meraki devices that are the easiest to configure on the dashboard as well. So you don't even have the cables to connect it to the network. And if you need more help about other Cisco Meraki devices, about some configured features, or even some troubleshooting tips, that's what we have here, the Cisco Meraki playlist for you, that you can go through all our videos and all the steps to make everything working as you expect, even to automate your network. If you need any more help, you have the comments over there below. You can put any comments. I'm gonna help you as much as possible. And that's how you configure the MT10 sensor Cisco Meraki in the IT way. See you the next one.